everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about another very popular form of passive income, and that is Etsy. Etsy has become very popular for creating and selling digital products. And thankfully, digital products are very easy to create because you just create them, they're done, you upload them, and then people can buy them with literally no extra effort from you because you've already created it. So you don't have to worry about things like production and shipping and manufacturing costs because it is all already done and Etsy takes care of everything for you. However, you can have the best product, but if your product is not reaching customers, then you will not see sales end of story. The intent behind the keywords being searched for is very important for SEO, which means search engine optimization, by the way. So if you are using the wrong keywords in your title and in your tags, then your products are not going to be found. Etsy SEO can be pretty difficult. And if you want to start maximizing your sales so you're not flying blind, then stick around because I think I may have the solution for you. And it is called Sale Samurai. Sale Samurai is an Etsy tool that helps you do all the research, helps you figure out all your keywords, even helps you list your products. And unlike other Etsy software programs, Sale Samurai doesn't use a third-party API. For keyword search volume, they use their own data scientists, which means the data is much more accurate. If you want to get started, there is a three-day free trial. You don't have to pay any money up front so you can get started right away with full confidence. And if you love it just like I do and are ready to continue, the pricing is very affordable, at least in my opinion. And if you want an extra 20% off, make sure to use my coupon code SARAH20 and then it'll be even cheaper. Plus, Sales Samurai even has a Chrome extension so you can do your research directly on Etsy rather than just in the back ends of the software. So there is honestly just so much variety, so much versatility. You've got a ton of options and it's just overall an excellent tool for doing your research on Etsy. So let's get right into it, shall we? All right, once you are inside Sales Samurai, it will probably look a little something like this. We'll have all the different tutorials, but today I will be your tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here to shops. Once you're here, it's probably going to look like this. It'll say no shops connected yet. That is where you're going to add your shop. If you haven't already created your Etsy shop yet, make sure to hop over to Etsy and do that. But if you have, you can come over and click this button that says connect. All right, Sales Samurai is trying to connect to your Etsy account. You're gonna to wanna to come here and allow access. All right, now my shop is connected. And one thing that's awesome is that it brings up all the info about my shop. It gives me active listings, missing tags, total views, missing images. As you can see, my Etsy shop is still very new. I'm still working on it. Still creating a bunch of new products that I've got in the works. But in the meantime, I've got one active listing and coming down, I get a great scan of my shop and I can also see if I'm missing any tags or missing any images. I'm not missing any tags. I used all 13 tags available Available to me, but it does say I'm missing five images. So if I came down here and clicked on this, it would highlight all the products that are missing those images. And as you can see, it's my one product here. I only used five images. I didn't use all 10 just because I didn't see a need. But if that were an issue, I could come in and just add in more images because sometimes if you have a lot more images, your chances of getting a sale are much higher because your customer is able to get a better feel for your product. All right, now that your shop is connected and that you've gotten a good scan of it, you are going to hop over now and start doing some research. So we're going to come over to this search button here. All right, now that we're on the search tab, we've got two different options, basic search and single listing. I'm going to start with basic search right now. So we're going to come over here and type in any keyword that we could imagine and we'll get a whole bunch of info about it. I'm just going to use the word dandelion. Okay, I lied and changed my mind to dandelion decor just because it's a bit more specific. But anyway, so as you can see here, we've got a ton of information. We've got some other keyword suggestions that we can use that are similar to what I went with, dandelion decor, things like dandelion on bag, dandelion gifts, flower fairy dandelion. And we have the Etsy search volume for these keywords. We have the Etsy click-through rate. We have the Google search volume and we have the Google CPC, which is cost per click, just has to do with ads. And then Google competition, which I believe is also related to ads. And over here, we've got a list of the top used tags in products that are getting the most visibility for these keywords. So here we've got our dandelion decor. We've also got wall art and 
print, art, more generally home decor, floral wall art. We've got the count for how many times this keyword appears in these products. And then the Etsy search volume is over here. And of course we can click this if we want to see it in an ascending way or a descending way on either side. And then another fun feature, let's say we really like one of these keywords, maybe floral wall art sounds like a good one. We can come down here and click this little heart icon and that will favorite it. So I can come here and create a new category, say it's dandelion decor, and then I would just press okay and that would save this keyword. And then I can always look back on it. And now scrolling down, we can see some very specific examples of this keyword in use. So we have some of the best performing products. Here we've got a dandelion print, another dandelion print. Seems like we've got a lot of prints. Here's another one, kind of more like wall art, some canvas. And we can see exactly how this product is doing. So for this one, it's got 13,839 views, which is insane. And it's got 370 likes. And we can also get a feel for how many photos these types of products have. So you can see it's kind of on the lower end. We've got three, one, two, four, five. But obviously they're still selling effectively. So that is something to take note of. And we can see much more details just by coming over here and clicking on this little details icon. This whole page gives us a lot of information. We can see what category this product is. We can see how many characters are being used in the title, how many words are in the title, how many characters in the description, the images. We can also see how many products this one has left. When it was last modified, when it was created, the age of the listing. And probably the most important part, we can come down and see the tags that it is ranking for and see the search volume, see the click-through rates. And if I were to create some type of dandelion decor, these would be some excellent tags that I could use for my product. And now I can come up here, go back. And if I scroll down even more, we've got another selection of amazing info. So here we've got the price spread. So this gives us a feel for what people are typically paying for this type of product. So dandelion decor coming and looking here, it seems like the most common one is at around $7, but we've also got a higher price range over here of around 29, but it seems like the most common here is around the five to $7 range, though there is a bit more flexibility in here. If I were to create a higher quality product, that would be more expensive. And here we've also got our average. We've even got information about the shipping days. And if we click this, this, we'll get some nice handy pie charts so we can get a feel for things. So looking at the shipping days, 16% are not declared, 3% is 10 to 20, but the majority here is zero to 10 shipping days. So if we created this product, we want it to be somewhere around this range. And then over here in shipping costs, we can see about a quarter of it is free. And the next is zero to 10, this is the majority. And then continuing up, we've got 10 to 20. And then we get into some of the crazier amounts, like 20 to 30. 30 and there's a little bit in 30 to 40 and a teensy tiny bit up here in good old 50 to 60. And there's even one in the 60 to 70 range. So there is quite a bit of range here, but we can see that free shipping and zero to 10 is the most popular and probably where we'd want to put our product at. So that's it for the basic search. As you can see, we have a ton of information that we can use for just this one keyword. And now we're gonna play with the single listing search. So I'm gonna come up here to Etsy right now and I searched for dandelion decor. So we've got a bunch of different options here. I think this is super cute. This little flower stand seems like a great Mother's Day gift. Now, if I wanted to see specific info about this product, I could come up here and copy the URL head back over to Sales Samurai and then drop the URL right into the search. Now this gives us a deep dive of this one specific product. And as you can see, this is just like the details page for that other product that I clicked on. So this just allows me to examine any product that I want. It doesn't just have to come from the basic search section. I can also go directly to Etsy and then come back over here if there's a specific product I wanna look at. So again, we've got quantity, created, monthly views, views. And then of course we've got all our amazing tags, dandelion, picked for mommy, wood stand, flower stand, flower holder. So a bunch of other tags that we could use if we were to create a product similar to this one and stray away from that kind of wall decor, print, canvas, stuff like that. And now for another very fun feature of Sales Samurai. So I know a lot of people sometimes don't like doing as much research in the back end of a software program such as Sales Samurai, which is why Sales Samurai also includes a handy Chrome extension. Here it is right here. I'll also make sure to leave a link down in the description so make sure to go and check that out. But you can come here and add it to Chrome. Just make sure that you have a 
a sales samurai account otherwise a chrome extension won't work which is i think what a lot of people don't realize so make sure you already have an account so as you can see i have already got it installed and everything now i just need to hop over to etsy so i can start using it so if i come up here and just type in the word dandelion it starts pulling up as you can see the search volume for each of these keywords so i can search for keywords and see the search volume right here directly on etsy as you can see it's still trying to pull up some more for these keywords but we've already got the search volume right here and it gives us a very quick easy way to view some different keywords and as we can see we've got this 406 more button over here it varies though depending on the keyword i can come here and i can click right here and that pulls up the chrome extension with a ton of different keywords that are currently working on being populated over here with information about the competition so here these are a bunch of different keyword suggestions related to dandelion paperweight so we've got paperweight ones we've got embroidery even dandelion roots dandelion ring dandelion art a bunch of different keywords and we can see over here the search volume for all of them the competition for all of them as well as how many words are in that keyword and what's especially great is that we can come up here and filter so we only get specific keywords so for example let's say we only want a competition of zero to 500 we could come here and filter and right at the top we've got our zero to 500 competition keywords seems like there aren't a ton but this may have been a little bit too specific on my part but this does give me some of the best low competition keywords like here we've got sisyphus paperweight like i don't even know what that means but apparently this would be a very good keyword to target if i were to create a product like this and as you can see this is clickable so i can click this button right here and it'll pull up a search right in etsy so i can see a lot of the products that are selling using this keyword oh sisyphus the guy with the rock okay now now i know what it means so we can come here and as you can see this is definitely selling i could plug this in if i wanted over into the single search option over here and as you can see this sisyphus paperweight is selling very well it's got quite a few views quite a few monthly views and given its higher price i'm sure it's also making quite a bit of money and then we've got all the tags that it uses if we wanted to target something like this get even more keyword suggestions from this one keyword and at the bottom we've also got all the images that they used and now back here in the chrome extension there's something even fancier we can do if we wanted to take all of this and put it into a spreadsheet we could come here and download all and it would come up here and download as a csv file which opening in an excel it gives me the keyword the search volume competition url for every single thing it pulled up but if i wanted more specifically i could just choose a random selection of keywords and then download the ones that i checked and then here we've got our new spreadsheet and looking at it here are just the specific keywords that i chose right here in this spreadsheet or if I didn't even necessarily want to use them in a spreadsheet, I could just copy them. And then here I've got notepad pulled up. If I control V here, we've got everything laid out here so I can put it in any format that I want. As you can see, Sales Samurai has also got a bunch of other tools. We've got a calendar here that tells us all the different holidays coming up so that we can create products around these holidays. We've also got a listing creator to help us create our listings and a competition tracker so we could add in shops and keywords and watch as they make sales, create new listings, and just see their progress over a period of time so that we can compare our own shop and then one other tool i'm going to show you is the calculator the calculator here allows us to figure out how much money we can make from a product so that we're not giving away our products for free because we certainly don't want to do that so let's say that we created something that was five dollars shipping price zero let's say it's a digital product coupon discount code maybe we've got ten percent in here Labor costs, I'm gonna leave that as zero. Material cost as zero. Just because I'm saying it's a digital product, same with the shipping cost, no Etsy ads. And then renewing, I'll also leave that at zero. So we just wanna see how much the price would be with the coupon discount. And Sales Samurai is gonna figure out all the fees for us as well. So we're gonna come over here and calculate it. And Sales Samurai determines listing fee for us, which is 20 cents, the transaction fee, which is 29 cents, the payment processing fee, 39 cents. And here we've got our estimated profit, including with the coupon discount and then the total fees that were calculated above and so our estimated profit for a five dollar profit with a 10 percent discount on it including the fees would be 362 with the estimated margin being 81 percent so this allows us to figure out exactly how much we would be selling a product for how much money we would be making and i love how sales samurai figures out all the fees and everything for us because essie has got all these tiny little fees that certainly add up but thankfully we can figure out that we're still making quite a bit of profit all right i could go on and on about all the amazing tools on sales samurai but honestly you should just go and check it out for yourself make sure to start the three-day free trial so you can see if it's for you and then let me tell 
tell you, it will be such an amazing tool as you maximize your profits on Etsy. Alrighty, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that it helped you learn all about Sales Samurai so that you can use it to maximize your sales on Etsy. After all, you wanna make sure that your products are getting found and Sales Samurai is just such an excellent tool for that and it gives you so many options when it comes to keyword research. Remember, you can get 20% off with my coupon code Sarah20, so make sure to go do that if you wanna get started or just start with a three-day free trial, see if it's for you. And hey, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. I would super duper appreciate it and I would love to have you. All right guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.